How's it going YouTube and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be running Deer Valley. So this is another trail that I ran about two years ago and I'm wanting to come out here and check it out again. So there are two ways to run this trail. The harder side is gonna be from the Highway 4 side right at Hermit Valley Campground. And the slightly easier uh, direction to run the trail is gonna be from the Lower Blue Lake side. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Gatekeepers are supposed to be challenging, and this one doesn't disappoint. While there are two different lines to take, the one on the right is a little bit more challenging. Lockers will most likely be required to make it through this section. There we go. Here you go. After reseating the spring and using a ratchet strap as a makeshift limiting strap, we were back on our way. Steep climbs with large rocks and a dusty trail is what makes the Hermit Valley entrance a little bit more challenging. Slipping off a rock or a bad line could result in the need to pull out some winch line. Somebody come get her, she's ripping up her fenders. <laughs>
After the first mile or two, the trail will turn into a dirt road with a few rocky sections here and there. Throwing your rig into four high will allow you to cover a lot of ground pretty quickly on this six and a half mile trail. The next and last major obstacle is a downhill rocky section with a tight squeeze at the top. Turn driver as you winch. There it is. Yeah. Okay, so that was Deer Valley. Uh, we ran it from the Highway 4 side at Hermit Valley Campground. It's a little bit harder going that way, but honestly, there's really only like three sections that are gonna be challenging. About the first mile and a half from Hermit Valley is gonna be uh, a little bit more difficult due to the fact that you're climbing up out of the valley to get to the peak. Uh, then after that, the trail turns into pretty much a well-maintained dirt uh, forest service road. So you can put it in four high and uh, cover a lot of ground pretty quickly. Uh, you're gonna come to a second uh, downhill rock garden. Uh, that's gonna be the second area that's really gonna give you a little bit of a challenge. And then, you know, there's a third section after the second uh, water crossing that uh, it, it's fun. It's not gonna be anything too crazy. As always, if you enjoyed that video, please hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner.